Water plays an important role in maintaining life on our planet. The symbiotic relationship it has with life forms is bound in complex ecosystems. To fully understand how a healthy water system works, we must look at the geomorphology of natural water systems. In nature, porous surfaces allow for groundwater aquifers to recharge. Rocks and logs change the flow dynamics creating eddies and regimes that encourage fish and aquatic plants. Nature presents special benefits when it slows the flow of water to almost stagnate levels. The natural ecosystems allow for complex processes that filter, purify water, encourage biodiversity and create healthy habitats. Modern man is starting to realize that by maintaining our synergistic relationship to nature, we raise the quality of our lives as well as the other life forms we share this planet with. By using the natural water systems as our inspiration, we are able to address a possible solution to manage our water in the urban setting. In urban environments, water is directed straight down drains into underground piping and channels. On its way, it carries everything that is deposited on the urban surface. Nutrients and bacteria from pet droppings and garden fertilizers, heavy metals from cars and industry, litter and exposed sediment. the action of the reeds, sunlight um, and, the, and the ecology will, will uh, take nutrients out of the water um, and heavy metals will drop into the sediments so the water that comes in is um, a lot, lot more filled with nutrients, sediment, heavy metals and when it goes out it's, it's degrees cleaner. The use of a constructive wetland in this type of setting is only in early trial stage right now. They are not the only solution to stormwater management. For that we need to incorporate a variety of natural solutions working together to effectively manage the total water catchment area. However, constructed wetlands such as this has had positive effects in terms of connecting the urban public with water and this has led to positive educational benefits. This guy in here is a long-jawed spider. This is the uh, top invertebrate predator in the wetland in the uh, winter. As I absolutely believe that we've got to have areas that represent a wild space and this is a wild space and it's it shouldn't be something that's outside of the city somewhere as the country gets pushed further and further out uh, i think it's really really important that people are allowed to connect to a wild space therefore we need to integrate them into our urban areas and um, so that so that children to begin with but people don't lose that sense of mystery yeah.